what's up guys leslie welcome to the event can you tell me you know what it means to be at this event and what it stands for well this event has always served underprivileged kids in the sports area they do so much for the communities and i used to come back when it was fight night so i'm familiar but really having this new space i can't believe it it's just and and anthem looks terrific and you know keith gordon does such a brilliant job and he makes it look so easy i i wish he could run my life <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, talk to me, you know, we we are, you know, the last few years, obviously, you know, we're just, you know, seeing the end of the tunnel, tunnel so to uh, so to speak. Um, and, you know, sports, have, I feel like has been a great escape in, you know, that time. So can you talk to me about that and, and just in general of how sports have, you know, helped us, you know, clear, you know, out of this tunnel of the last few years? Well, as you know, we're such a divided nation right now, but it was the great Nelson Mandela who said sport has the power to change the world. And that is absolutely true. He was in prison, as you know, for 27 years. He could touch both sides of the cell with his hands. And when he came out, he embraced the all-white rugby team. And that really showed that, uh, you know, you can overcome anything. And sports is a language. I always say the cab driver or the king can talk about sports. Well, Leslie, thank, you, thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of the show, all right? We are here on the wharf. You know, it's an amazing day. Um, can you tell them, talk to me about, you know, what it means to be at this event and what, you know, what it's about? You know, it means a lot to our family that my dad is being honored. Um, you know, he's someone that committed a lot of his time, not just to coaching and winning games, but to uplifting and, and helping those that need help. And so for that to be recognized, you know, when he was younger, he would say he didn't care about that. He, or he didn't care about being recognized. As he got older, it did mean a lot to him that people acknowledged and recognized what he did. And so now to be a part of this for them, for Fight for Children, to honor him at this amazing event uh, means a lot to our family. Absolutely. And, you know, of course, I have to, you know, real quick talk basketball. You know, we got four teams that are left currently. So, you know, who you got? I, I know I know who I have, but but maybe you got someone different. I got, I got uh, the Warriors. Who you got? You got, I got the, Warriors. the Warriors. You know, I think a common thread with the teams that are left is that they defend. Um, and so it's so hard to tell who's going to come out. It's hard. I mean, it's hard not to pick the Warriors. I like both teams in the East. Um so I'll say, if you were asking me to put me on the spot, I'll say, we're going to see some good basketball in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> awesome. Well, John, thank you so much, man. Appreciate your time. <laughs>